Mick, here we are. Uh, the announcement this morning, you will be a Formula One driver in 2021 and beyond. How excited are you? Very excited. I mean, obviously it's a, it's a dream come true, really. It's, it's something I've been chasing for, well, really since I'm like five years old, so really childhood and uh, that the day is finally here is just yeah, overwhelming, really. It seemed that ever since you were born, uh, the earliest images we have of you were in a, in a go-kart. You've been surrounded by motorsport your entire life. Has this always been the dream, always been your destiny? Always has, yeah. It's always been part of me, it always was the, the big goal. And, uh, and obviously, you know, uh, one part of the goal is achieved. Now, uh, obviously, the, yeah, the second is to drive it. When did you find out the news? Well, not pretty much earlier than, than I guess most of the world. So no, I, I've been, you know, I got the call from from a tea and got confirmed, and uh, it's it's just great, really. Now, obviously, you're racing Formula Two at the moment, leading the championship with one weekend to go. But for those who don't know Mick Schumacher, tell us a little bit about yourself, um, about where you've come from, and and a little bit about your racing history. Well, I guess it's always hard to speak about myself at the end, but uh, yeah, I know, obviously I'm, I'm from Germany. Uh, I hope that that should be known by now. Um, but no, obviously I have, have, have driven in go-karts as, as a young boy and then emerged into, into Formula categories at all the junior categories at two years in F4, two years in F3, one which was uh, quite successful. Uh, and now I'm here in F2 and, and also leading the championship. So uh, obviously really, really happy, proud to be here and, and in this position. What kind of a driver would you describe yourself as? What's your style? What's your hallmark as a racer? I would probably count as one of, uh, of the more uh, strategic drivers, I'd say. I, I like to think about what, what my next move is. Does it make sense for me? Uh, is, is it worth the risk? Uh, do I need to take the risk that, you know, to try and take the move or not? Um, so, uh, you know, I, I like to think uh, during, during driving and, and, and taking my moves uh, accordingly if, if, it's, if it's worth it or not. This has been a very strange year for everybody. The Formula Two season, uh, as affected as the Formula One season has been. Given that you've done so well this year, how much has this season taught you about taking opportunities, making the most of, of every situation that, that arises? Um, well, it taught me a lot. Obviously, you know, I think we've been one of the most consistent drivers uh, all year. I think that's what brought us into this position, into contention, to, to yeah, you know, the championship lead at the moment, and, and possibly also winning the championship. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm very confident, I'm very happy in, in the position that I'm in and obviously great things are waiting for me next year. And next year will be the longest in Formula One history, 23 races. What in particular are you most excited about? Honestly, look, just kind of get started and you know, looking forward to, to the races. Obviously, quite a few racetracks I haven't been to yet, like Melbourne is, is one of them, which is the first one, obviously. Suzuka is, is a track that I'm looking forward to. Definitely is one of the most spectacular cars to drive, uh, tracks to drive on, with those cars and, and modern cars. So, yeah, no, just just really, you know, happy to get going now. And we can't, and I know you wouldn't want us to disassociate you from your surname and uh, from the the incredible history of of your father in the sport. Your race number, I know, has something to do with with him. How proud will you be to to bring the Schumacher name back to Formula One to represent? your father as well and, and, and gives a little bit of the background to the, the race number. Well, yeah, no, definitely. I'm, I'm, I'm very proud to be, to be, you know, driving, driving my surname and, and, you know, having the German flag in my car and just, yeah, giving, you know, giving something back to, to the German fans as well. And obviously, uh, yeah, to, to my racing number, yeah, I got the 47, which is uh, a four and a seven, both numbers really special to me. Uh, and, and yeah, somehow also, I think some fans already did the association association saying it's for Michael, so four seven, uh, which is uh, which is also very nice and uh, it's kind of true. So uh, not really happy to be here. Lovely stuff. Um, obviously, Melbourne will be the first race. You get only three days of testing before then. How will you prepare yourself? How will you get yourself in the right headspace and physically for your first season in Formula One? Yeah, definitely. You know, we we still have some time, uh, even though those the, the time goes by quickly. So uh, you know, we have to. To start moving quite quite soon, as soon as everything's in position and in place. Um, obviously, we have yeah Melbourne coming up. I haven't driven there yet, so definitely the preparation in the simulator is going to be very important for me. Just really <laughs> take take as much as drive much of the driving that I can, and really learn as much as I can as quickly as possible to be 100% ready for for the first race. 
and you only were announced a couple of hours ago, so it couldn't be earlier really than, than it is right now. But do you have any goals already, any targets that you've set out for your first season? You know, definitely, I think I want to like display my best performance I can, uh, work with the team as closely as I can. I'm sure, you know, they have so, so much history and um, so much sorry, experience, which, which I can just benefit from. And, uh, and hopefully we'll, we'll work closely and, and, and as one little family uh, soon in, in the championship. Great stuff. Thank you very much. Thank you, Shun.